everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're in the Dutch town of Delft for the afternoon. Our friend Julie from the United States is visiting with us. Hello. <laughs> we spent an awesome day, an awesome afternoon, traveling around Delft, checking out some cool sites, eating some cool food, uh, having some great beer, mm -hmm. and just some good times and good laughs. So come along, we'll show you around Delft a little bit, and uh, yeah. Let's go. No, we come back again. Delft is a canal-ringed city in the western part of the Netherlands. As part of the Randstad, it shares close proximity with Rotterdam, Den Haag, and Amsterdam. We visited on a Saturday afternoon, and the drive from Amsterdam was around 45 minutes. Of course, like much of the Netherlands, it's also easily accessible by train. On Saturdays, the city center has a large street market with stalls selling flowers, antiques, food, and more. The Saturday street market in Delft not only provides an opportunity for shopping and browsing, but also allows you to connect with the local community and experience the city's authentic charm. Whether you're interested in finding unique souvenirs, trying local foods, or simply soaking up the atmosphere, we highly recommend visiting the market for anyone exploring Delft on a weekend. What do you think of this art? What does it mean? I just don't know. Uh, okay, we're here in front of the Nieuwe Kirk, the new church in Delft. And uh, we're about to climb the stairs. How many stairs are there? There are 376 stairs. It is the second tallest church in all of the Netherlands. Sounds like a lot of stairs. A lot of stairs. Are you Let's ready? go do it. Are you ready for that many stairs? I'm ready for that I'm many stairs. I'm ready for that many stairs. <laughs> you can do it. It's gonna be hard. We'll do it. We got this. The views look amazing, so we're gonna check it out. It's right. It's worth it. We'll see you at the top. See ya. Climbing the tower of the Nieuwe Kerk costs 5 euros and 50 cents for adults and 3 euros and 50 cents for children. You can also purchase a combo ticket to tour the interior of the church as well. The tower has a few different points along the climb where you can stop to see artifacts like the old bells and clock mechanisms. There are two points on the tower where you can step outside for the views at approximately halfway as well as at the top. are really amazing. You can see the tall buildings in Rotterdam in the distance. It gets quite windy up there and the passages around the outside are narrow. If you have problems with heights, we do not recommend this experience. You can also see Lainey and I all the way down at the bottom at the cafe, waiting while Tori and Julie climb the tower. Hard to show how tricky these stairs really were. There's only one set of spiral stairs for the trip up and down the tower, so you have to be very careful when passing people moving in the opposite direction. Climbing all of those stairs can really work up an appetite. For lunch, we stopped by Beer Fabrique, which is a brewery pub and restaurant located on Bergval, alongside the street market. Thankfully, the weather had quickly improved and we were able to enjoy a lovely lunch on the patio. 
We're doing? We are going to try some local beers at Beer Fabrique. There are six different kinds and I am very excited to try all of them, but especially the IPA. So I'm going to start with that one, even though I'm not sure if we're allowed to. It's hoppy, and I love it. Cheers. All right. They all look so cute in their little styles. I know, right? <laughs> now I need another style. <laughs> <laughs> more casual, more casual. Nice roast. What a roast. Oh, I like that. This is an amazing chicken sandwich that was marinated for like two days. And it is delicious with the um, bun plus like the, the chicken is so tender, and the ciabatta bread, like it's just such a good mix. Like, highly recommend. Chef's kiss. Get it when you're in doubt. Okay, so I got the nachos, and I am a bit of a connoisseur of nachos. I've, I try nachos all over Europe so far. Mostly disappointing. These are very interesting. The guacamole is extremely minty. I've never had a minty guacamole, but um, yeah, this is a bit different. But um, overall, it's fine. It's like Doritos. It's like uh, Doritos tortilla chips with some baked in cheese, your basic guacamole, sour cream, and pico. It's fine. Not the best, not the worst. You can feel free. You can feel free, yeah. Feel free, yeah. If you don't mind being on camera a little bit. <laughs> Of course, after lunch, we just had to stop for some dessert. All right, we are at the street market in Delft, and we have some strobe waffles. Yes. Is this your first strobe waffle? Of this trip, yes. Okay, okay. Not ever. Let's see how they are. The tasty strobe waffle. This is a tasty strobe waffle. Like, your thing is full of, like, syrup. Yes, it has definitely um, fallen out of the waffle. So it is it is warm and it is fresh. And the waffle itself is, is crisp. It is tasty. It's a good strobe waffle. I just want to eat the... <laughs> I did that. Strobe waffles. Stratiatella. Chocolate, both delicious. Four and a half out of five. Amazing. If you get a chance to visit the train station in Delft, remember to look up. The vaulted ceiling has a map of Delft and the surrounding areas from 1877. The walls and columns are also accented with a contemporary reinterpretation of Delft blue tiles. It's a beautiful space to visit and designed to make arriving in Delft an enjoyable experience. Speaking of Delft blue, you can't visit this city without seeing some of the ubiquitous Delft blue pottery. Originally from the 17th century, this unique style of pottery has become synonymous with the city where it originated. While in Delft, you can visit pottery museums, the Royal Delft Factory, and many shops that sell Delft blue pottery. While much of it is mass produced now, you can still purchase hand painted items, but keep in mind that can be very, very expensive. Delft is also known for being the hometown of Dutch Baroque period painter Johannes Vermeer. You can visit the location where his former house was located, as well as the Vermeer Center, a space dedicated to the life and work of the artist. Unfortunately, we didn't have time to see it during this trip, as most museums are closed by 5 p.m. That does it for our wonderful afternoon in Delft with Julie. We had an amazing time and we hope you enjoyed coming along with us. 
If you find yourself in Delft on a Saturday afternoon and you see the market stall starting to close up, here's our tip. Visit the flower stands. You can get some amazing deals at the end of the day. And as a bonus tip, don't forget to click that like button as well as subscribe so you don't miss out on future travels and adventures. Tote zines!